Hey, hey welcome, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall, Wall Twins. Twins. And today, we're cooking another favorite and again, easier than you think recipe. That's right, we're really excited for this one. This is our take on an Asian classic, beef with broccoli, and we can't yeah. wait to get on it. So if you want to see our take on this amazing Asian dish, then stick around while we dig, dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Like we said, welcome back. However, if this is your first time here with the Wall Twins, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do together. We love to cook and we love having you along. Thank you for being here. We're excited that you're here. We try to bring the positivity. We try to take the mystery out of cooking. We just give our take on really good dishes. We're not gourmet chefs and we don't claim to be. We just really the love- The food tastes good. The food <laughs> tastes good. And we just love the way the food tastes. Yep. So Brett, what inspired this cook, man? Uh, requests from uh, awesome viewers, and Absolutely. we're like, you know what? This is a this is a simple cook, and we're actually excited because I know a lot of people are intimidated by Asian cooks, and this is a really simple recipe. This, of course, again going to our favorite Jetila from the Food Network, and so um, yeah, we're gonna get right on and do this. That's right. This was requested, and by the way, we love these big cooks that we can kind of use a good area on here to really highlight how much you can do on the Blackstone. This is another one, absolutely. So because it's a quick, easy cook, I'm going to uh, get things going here. But let's talk about the groceries. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, well, first of all, we got the beef right here that has been marinating for the last 20 minutes in a quick, simple mar uh, marinade, which Adam will be posting that recipe below. And then we've got the broccoli, which we already steamed. We pre-steamed this because um, that's just gonna cook, speed up this process for this. And then we're using cornstarch as part of the uh, as part of the sauce that we're gonna throw on. Same with oyster sauce, which is an amazing star of this. Soy sauce, sesame oil, and a couple cloves of garlic and and we, we're using beef broth, you beef or chicken broth, but we're using beef broth, beef broth for this sauce. So, and of course, rice. Right, we're gonna put it over rice, all over so rice. eat it with rice. And so we did heat the rice up inside. We thought the, the skies were gonna open up. We are gonna be dealing with the thunderstorm. We thought, let's get the rice pre-done, so that way we can just add it at the end. Which is another reason why, also why we pre-steamed the broccoli, because right. we're like, we're not gonna have time to get this all in before. And now the skies have opened up, so that's awesome. Yeah, otherwise we would have actually steamed the broccoli right here using the dome. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna crush up the, uh, the cloves of garlic that are gonna actually go on first after the oil. So we're gonna right. do that, and then I will uh, make the sauce. So come on. All right, so this is, you know, just, I'm just gonna do this real quick. So all you're doing is mincing the garlic. Yep, we're just mincing, ma there's more mash of the garlic, but um, this is, you know, I like this process because it actually brings the, oh yeah, all the flavor of the garlic out, which of course garlic is, you know, such a strong taste and fl uh, oh, flavor in its own, but it's absolutely delicious. Nice. So we're gonna set that aside and get the stuff for the sauce. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start with the beef broth poured in here. And then the starch. And the starch really helps. Could you say that's the starch of the show? This is definitely the starch of the show for sure. Definitely 100% the starch of the show. <laughs> and then the oyster sauce, which is the, which is one of the biggest stars of the show yeah. um, because of the amazing flavors that it has. In fact, uh, we used this for the first time in our chicken lo mein cook, yes. which Adam put right there. And we're using a quarter cup. Quarter. And then we are gonna be putting this on near the end of the cook. And this, just like the lo mein, it's longer to prep and get ready than it is to actual cook. cook. Yep. All right, so we'll go ahead and finish prepping that and we'll be good to go. Yep. So here we go. We've had the griddle on now for about 10 minutes because we, we got it prepped at the beginning of all this. We wanted to make sure we were gonna get up to temp. Now this is gonna be a relatively fast cook. So we wanted it at a higher temp. I am exactly at medium on mine and I'm using the middle two because we just need a little bit of the surface area to make this cook. So right now I am temping right in the middle near 590 degrees. That's how hot this gets at medium. From 580 all the way to 590, 595. So very hot area, surface area. We're gonna cook this quick. We don't wanna burn the bee garlic. garlic. We don't wanna burn the broccoli and we certainly don't wanna burn the beef. So we're gonna get through this really quick. So first things first, Brett, so how much oil? Just the usual uh, about a, a tablespoon? Yeah, a tablespoon, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tablespoon or two, yep, you wanna get Back it. in. And then, yeah, basically you wanna get, when that is heat, hot, this, and the oh white yeah. smoke is coming off, much like it is right now, it is ready to go. So, yeah, this is this is gonna cook really fast. We know we want the oil hot yep. to get it started, but right now it is really hot already. You got the white smoke already coming up. So we are up to temperature. 
because the thing is, is, is this has to be hot to get that garlic cooking really, really quick. Because um, remember, this is this is a dish normally cooked in a wok. Right. So they're constantly moving and shaking and, and grooving and, and doing bread. all that. I appreciate you walking me through this cook. Oh my god, that was, that was a stretch. Who ordered the cheese in this dish? Who <laughs> <laughs> ordered the cheese in this dish? All right, Brett needs to learn camera manners. The camera's facing that way, should have done it the other way. Camera so manners. this is already browning up a little bit. So, we're gonna get this cooking really quick. Okay, there we go. Like All right, there. we're trying to keep this from sticking here. And then so I'm gonna keep uh, this uh, moving. When the meat's about halfway cooked, we're gonna go ahead and toss the broccoli on and then let that start marrying together. And then I'm going to throw on the sauce. And that's right. Oh, so you just did thin slices. You didn't Very cut it up. Slices. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these are thinly sliced. Ooh, some of that's already searing. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. I love these quick cooks. You want to give me the other, um, the other uh, spatch? This this temp is high Shee! heat, and therefore I need the handles to get me away from the surface, the griddle surface. That scraper is excellent, but on the high heat, it can get your hand really hot. So. I appreciate having this, and yeah, constantly moving this around so none of it burns. All we're doing is cooking this meat right through. Yep, that's it. I want to make sure I got all the oil in here. Oops. And one thing to note, by cooking this here, we are actually um, cutting the calories like more than half because we're using way less oil, and so it's uh, absolutely awful. We're cutting the calories. This is beef calories. <laughs> Did you just go and sit down and write all these puns while, it, it, while we were getting ready to cook this? It's punsable. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> you are stretching. We got. Oh, man. Look at this, man. And so this broccoli is already steamed. Yes. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. If you're no, it not looking, like, <laughs> it looks like beef and broccoli. Yeah. You ready? Yes. Sauce is boss. Sauce is boss, bro. Look. And the crowd goes wild. Oh, man. Oh, it smells so good. Good, good. Very good. And look at that. Here's what's funny. I'm gonna kill the heat. Yeah, kill the heat. Before you put the sauce on, before you put the sauce on, it looked like beef and broccoli, beef, beef with broccoli. You threw that sauce on, this looks like any Asian restaurant I've ever been to and ordered or seen beef with broccoli, man. Yep. That is so good. So you're just about done, man. So, uh, yep. Oh man, this is amazing. These are all fun. You know how this goes. Yeah, true. Okay, we got a plate for it, bro. Yes, I do. Well, here we go again. Yep, <laughs> man. We did it yet again. Like, whoop, there we go. Uh, we did it totally again. We did it. We knocked this out of the ballpark. <laughs> no, this was another fun cook. Fun. Listen, the, easy cook. We threw the beef in, and then when we threw the broccoli, it was looking okay as soon as Brett threw that sauce in there because the cornstarch acts as an agent to really give it a gravy type yep, texture. It thickens, yep, it thickens, so it comes out Man, very wet, perfect. but then with the heat, it's activated, right. and then that, because of science. But what a great fun cook, man. Putting that together, and again, it's almost embarrassing how simple this one is. Yes, and, and to put it on the Blackstone, this would definitely be a crowd pleaser. If you're cooking for a lot of people, you could double or triple this recipe. Oh yeah, get this whole thing heaping with yep. beef and broccoli, and that thing would be awesome. This recipe that Adam will be posting below. Um, post well, Malone. <laughs> post Malone, here he is. This feeds four, this is uh, about four people. This okay. feed about four people. 
or one me, one or one wall. <laughs> or one, or, 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 or sure, You're lucky I'm sharing with you today. Okay. But Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. Yeah, which it does. Yeah, Hello. Goodness gracious, it can smell amazing. Mm. The Chinese whole time, all I could all I could think about is I can't wait to taste that. And here we are. But if it doesn't taste amazing, this then this was all oh, for naught. Not. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. Mm. <laughs> Same time, mm. man. Literally, Peace. literally. Yep. Like beef and broccoli, I've had at any Asian restaurant I've ever had beef and broccoli at. Absolutely, absolutely. This is it, dude. Mm. Banger. Banger, so glad we came and did this one. Yep. I've and never had this one on here on the Blackstone. For all the requests for it, because it is so simple, you saw, it does take longer this to prep it. Are you kidding me? Oh my word. It really was. This is one the prep took longer than the actual cook. Mm. The marinade, the 20 minute marinade took longer than the yeah. cook. <laughs> all right, Brett, we could sit here and eat. This is one. Listen, we talk about this. Sometimes we take a couple of bites, we set it down, and we're ready to go to move on. I don't know if the family needs to know that we have this. I <laughs> think we're going to keep this on the DL. Yeah, exactly I'm right. okay finishing this off, man. I will set it aside for now, though. Will you? No. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, you know, we really want to show this to you so that you can realize that it's, it's really not an intimidating dish at all. And not, in fact, not only is it not intimidating, it's very easy, very simple. You can throw it on the stove. You can throw it on whatever griddle surface you want to do, any hot surface. You can do it. It's simple. Just follow the steps below. And one thing that we actually did not put in this, and I don't feel like it's missing it, but I would like to try it with it, is the rice wine. wine. And um, we just didn't have any. We were thinking, do we want to throw in a white wine? We're like, you know what, let's just try it without. And I feel like this is, this is the absolute delicious takeout Chinese that you get. Absolutely, this is, this is absolutely perfect. And we could keep saying absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Saying, but we could keep talking about it, but we don't want to waste your time. Thank you so much for being here. Again, if you like this and you liked our take, give this a thumbs up. However, if you didn't like it, we understand this isn't for everybody. Go ahead and hit the thumbs down two times for us because, you know, we get it. Not everybody likes freakishly identical twins. But thank you so much for being here. If you do give this recipe a try, please let us know. Don't forget, you can find us on Facebook, on Instagram, and uh, just send us a message. Let us know. We love connecting with our community. But anyways, let's go ahead and get about here, Brett. It. Aside from coming to make this incredibly amazing beef with broccoli, Another banger. Another banger. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin. No, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And adult. Forget, Forget to, to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.